Hello. In discussing in the last video about being alone or not, it led me to realize that when you are alone, it's because there was a discard of some kind. Either they discarded you or you discarded them. I want you to understand that regardless of which one it is, especially if you discarded them, obviously, because that might be unexpected for them, that creates an emergent situation for the narcissist. And by emergent, I mean fire alarm ringing emergency. They, first of all, want to be in control at all times of anything that's happening in their life and anything that they're feeling, anything that you're deciding, anything that happens between the two of you, they want to be the ones in control. So especially if you discard them, that creates an emergent situation for them. They may not have someone else lined up yet. And that's a very elementary part of the narcissist is that they always replace you fast. And I hear that from everybody. How did he find somebody else so fast? Or why is he already with someone? And didn't I mean anything? And how could they be with somebody so fast? And what about what we had? And I'm feeling all this. Isn't he feeling all this? No, they're not feeling any of all of this that you as a non-disordered person is feeling and thought he was as well. If they don't have somebody else lined up yet, they can't be by themselves for a hiccup of a second. Where are they going to get their supply from? Their narcissistic supply. Where is it going to come from? If you're discarding them and they don't have anybody lined up, they're going to panic. They're going into a state of panic. And you'll see desperation. They, I want you to be prepared so that if you are thinking of leaving your narcissist or even if you were just discarded, they still might come back at you and say anything to get you back. Because maybe the supply they thought they had lined up turned out it didn't work out or they weren't ready to receive them yet. So they're, they're out, out in the world flailing about or they got to devaluing so fast with the new supply they found someone, it's already ugly, they had a fight, and now they're going to come back. We all know what they do. They cannot be without supply, stroking their ego, making them feel like a king, even for one second, or queen. They don't like their own company enough to sit tight without supply. They can't sit within themselves long enough. They can't look in the mirror at their reflection long enough. They don't like who they are. They have to distract themselves from themselves with activities, with people, with going out all the time, with keeping their life noisy, right? They don't like themselves way down deep. We've said this. We know this. They may not have a place to go if you discard them. If they're living with you and you discard them, they don't have a place to go. Well, that's really going to make them lay it on thick that they're going to say anything to you, desperately trying to make you take them back. Look at their motivation. Don't automatically fall for everything that they're telling you when they're in an emergent situation of having their supply depleted of having their home taken away of have you know what i'm saying they're also astounded that you caught on and actually made a decision to depart they didn't see it coming no matter what they did to you they thought that they learned from what you did accept about their behavior that they already bestowed upon you, they thought they learned that you, you'll you accept whatever they do. And don't forget, they feel that they have the right to do whatever they want. And they also feel sometimes, I think, <laughs> that they're smart enough that they won't get found out. Oh my God, God bless them. Oh my God. Because some of the moves they make are so elementary that a child could see them. 
and they really think that they're being smart. They think that you, it's, 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 they're in awe that you just don't accept their behavior. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. The words will come out. I swear on anything under the sun, it won't happen again. And they're astounded if you hold steadfast in your decision. And you know what's tricky? Not only will they say anything, but they'll say everything that you have always wanted them to say. They're going to lay on every single thing that you ever wanted to hear from them. They're going to say it right now. This is when they're going to do it. How somebody could go through life that out of touch with their own reality is beyond me. But anything of what they say to you is fake. None of anything of what they say is real. If it were, they would have said it before. They would have behaved differently. They would have shown you the behavior that supports what they're saying. Not just saying words. And if you give them another chance to prove themselves worthy, they will fail. They absolutely will fail. And they will prove to you that they didn't mean anything. And they will prove to you that the behavior you saw in the beginning, which made the discard happen, is their true self. You know, if you've decided something and you're not budging, and they're, they're going to be shocked that you decided it and that you had the courage to execute it. And they will really assume that you're going to change your mind. They'll come at you assuming you're going to change your mind. That's why they take out all the big sentences that you've been dying to hear. They're going to lay them all on there because they're going to want you to swoon. Oh, finally, you're saying that. Oh, finally, you feel that way, really? Oh my God, you really, you see my point? Please keep your composure. Stand firm. If you believe and have finally arrived at what you see as the truth and you believe in your stance, then you have to maintain your composure and keep the discard happening for you to sway back and forth and if they get back in with you and then you say all right we'll give it one more shot now they know exactly how to get back in with you to get one more shot so when they guaranteed falter again they're gonna come back again even harder even more fierce even more with the words that you want to hear. It's going to be a revolving door of discard comeback, discard comeback, discard comeback. In their life, they will always encounter problems with the new person they find themselves. Always. Because their personality is not changing. Well, we know that their personality brings with it a bunch of problems. Think of like Pigpen in, in, in Charlie Brown, how the cartoon would walk and there's a cloud around that person. That's the narcissist. They have that cloud of cartoon dust all around their entire being, their whole life. Well, they're not going to walk into a new relationship. I don't care if they found someone right away. That cloud of dust is carrying into that relationship. That will blow up too at which time they're going to come back to you and circle back around to good old reliable you. And hopefully you'll answer the phone and hopefully they can alleviate this discard business. And they'll use unifying terms like, how can you do this to us? Don't you miss us? Come on, what we had is so special. You don't find that all the time in life. It's once in a lifetime love that we have. I swear on my children, I won't do that again. I swear on my mother's life. 
my narcissist swore on things. Oh my God, I pray for the people he swore on because I'm sure he's using that same language now. God help him. God help the people. God help the people. And don't let that sway you. Sway you. <laughs> I'm mixing up sway and persuade. See what I mean by a flub up? Sometimes they happen. I'll watch this back. I just let them go sometimes. I misspeak a word because who? I want you to get the video the first time I do it. But don't let that sway you. They're going to come out with a lot of language. They're going to come out with some strong feelings. They're going to cry maybe. The big fake cry. Oh my God, don't let that. Don't. Don't even. I, please don't. Because anyone that feels those ways wouldn't have done what they did to begin with. Their behavior is very calculated, including in this stage post-discard. It is all to manipulate you back. And you know what? They may even have new supply already. They just want to see if they can get you back. Just because. It's a game. It's a game. They want to see. Their ego wants to challenge them to see. You are so far over here away from them. They want to see. I can get her back. I bet I can. And the second they do, they might be like, well, you're right. This isn't not working for me either. Now you're back in it and now they're discarding you just so that they could show you that they could. This is how sinister it can be. It really is not a healthy thing for you to go back and forth once you've decided and you've thought it through and the discard is what you want. Now you might say, well, I didn't want this discard. He did this to me. I can't wait for him to come back. I want him to come back. I understand that emotion. I certainly understand that emotion. But I'm going to say to you what my cousin said to me several years ago, and I told you this once in another video. And it was hard to hear, but I was glad she told it to me two hours after I had a real... Some guy did like a 180. We were going along great, and he did a 180. Turns out, I, I believe he was a narcissist, and he had somebody else. But I, we never talked. To, it, was, it was done. That was it. There was no back and forth with this guy. But I was devastated. And my cousin said to me, my ever so honest cousin that I've grown up with since, since I was t tiny, she said, Renee, he doesn't want you. He doesn't want you. I needed to hear that. I did. And we laugh to this day and she says, oh, I'm so, I said that right out. I'm like, yeah, but I needed to hear that. If they wanted to be with you, they would be with you. This isn't Russia. This isn't North Korea. This isn't the Middle East in the 1600s with caste systems. And anyone can be with anybody. It's 2021. There's no reason why they wouldn't be with you if they wanted you. And then you'll hear it, well, as soon as I get this in line, as soon as I... No, 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 no. If they wanted to be with you, then they would. If they're trying to come at you again to get you back if you've discarded them, it's probably because they want to be the one to do the discard. If they're trying to get you back if they've discarded you, it might be just because they're having a dry spell in narcissistic supply land, or their new supply has already been causing a little trouble for them or they just want to see if they can they want to see if they can to feed their ego i dumped her i wonder if i can get her back i don't know that those words go through their mind but they certainly want to make sure that they keep you on their bench in their rolodex on their phone available if they need you later even if there was a big ugly blow up they're going to want to not make the end be that way so they're going to come at you again eventually and we talked about all that hoovering so you have to be careful of that but after the discard it creates a very emergent situation for them and they become desperate think of an emergency everyone's desperate it's traumatic it's triage. They're trying to tend to the wounds. It's an emergency. So they're going to say and do anything to alleviate that. 
Don't let that fool you, please. Please. And if you've been discarded, think of it as the universe sparing you from a fate worse than being in a relationship with them. If you continue in a relationship, then who knows what's down the pike. More turmoil, I can guarantee you that. So if they've discarded you, don't think of it as they rejected you. Think of it as the universe is looking out for you. The universe is sparing you from something that was going to cause you more trouble. And revel in that and stand by. Because maybe if they discarded you, maybe you start to look at it like, you know what? I don't want them back. Not even one more time. And you're going to stand your ground and you're going to say, no, I don't believe anything that you're telling me. It's very difficult because you want to hear what they're saying. But remind yourself, how long did they have to prove that to you? How long did they have to show you what they were made of? How long did they have to tell you all those things? Now they're saying them? Isn't that a very peculiar thing to you? You should stand out like a sore thumb. All of a sudden they're coming through with all these things? It's because it's an emergency. Hold fast on your discard and relook if you were discarded that might be something you might want to look at as a blessing.